Let's move on now to the last section of this course, the writing section. We'll go over writing question two, the independent writing question. We will see how the question is structured, how to approach the question, how your response is score, and we'll give you some tips for improving your writing skills. So here's generally what question two will look like. For this task, you're presented with a question and you have 30 minutes to write your response. There's no maximum length for your essay, but a good response is usually at least 300 words. So what is the question asking you to do? Question structure, 30 minutes, 300 or more words. The independent writing question will ask your opinion on an issue. So often you'll get a question such as, do you agree or disagree? Which would you prefer? Or do you support or oppose this idea? Question structure, your opinion on an issue. Do you agree or disagree? Which would you prefer? Do you support or oppose this idea? Use specific reasons and examples. Approach tips. Make an outline. Some people like to travel with a companion. Other people prefer to travel alone. Which do you prefer? Don't memorize. Scoring criteria. Scored 0 to 5. Development, organization, language use. Before the test, make sure you understand what the raters are looking for and how each question is scored. The essay in the writing section will each be given an overall score from 0 to 5. For question 2, the independent writing question, the raters are looking for three main things. Skill building tips. Read opinion essays and write about them. Time yourself and plan. Write and revise in 30 minutes. Tips. Learn how to find and correct grammar mistakes. Remember, when you practice, you may find that you're making the same kind of grammar mistakes over and over. So learn how to correct them. Then, when you write your essay, leave a few minutes to go back and make those corrections.